All right, so what I've got here is um, an unusual failure. Um, this came all this uh, VXT uh, 24 came off of a boiler that we installed about two years ago, and um, the complaint was that the the boiler was flooded, and so when I um, turned it on on at the customer's house, I could hear this strange clicking and determined that it was uh, this relay that was clicking erratically. And uh, so I took it away, uh, disconnected it from the, um, the uh, valve, leaving the valve online. Here's the uh, connections for it here. I've got this uh, lit up with 24 volts. And as you can hear, it's not making any funny noises, but it would sound like this. And uh, figuring there was something wrong with the circuitry somewhere. And then I noticed this corrosion here and this rust stain here. So that uh, clued me in that what might be happening is water dripped onto here from a leak, and it's a known leak, and shorted this switch out intermittently. So let's see if that's going to work. So I've got a little squeeze bottle here, and see if we can simulate the failure. So I'm going to put a little bit of water in there. See if that'll make it work. So as this goes on, what what'll happen is this will start to count up. So they're a freaking Geiger counter. So that's it. Let's see if we can get it to Well, how's that? That like that reactor is going super critical. So that's sending power to these leads here, which is then causing the valve to open up and um, flood the boiler. The customer said that the last time they checked this uh, was it was the count was about 69, and then when they when I turned it on, they said it was up to 200 and something and. By gosh, yeah, that's what it was. So I think we've solved this little mystery. And I'm going to wait for this thing to uh, kick over to one. Let's 
should take about a minute's worth of clicking. Please be patient. I really appreciate your guys' uh, support and uh, your comments. I hope the nobody has to run into this again. Uh, Let's see. Hope it's good. So yeah, the the period which would be uh, indicative of a signal from the low water cutoff. There we go. It just kicked over. Um, is not on. It's definitely. This that's so that's the indication that it was receiving a signal outside of uh, uh, the um, normal pathways. Uh, it was getting it from the override uh, due to um, a short caused by water dripping onto the switch. So I think uh, I think we mystery solved. Uh, nothing wrong with the VXT or the low water cutoff. Um, just to fix the leak and. Uh, maybe replace that uh, feed switch because uh, the water, I'm sure, is not helping uh, any corrosion. Again, I thank you all very much for your support and uh, have a great day.